First off, I'd like to welcome everybody back to the 2021 school year. This school year is going to be a little bit different, um, at least at the start of this school year. It will certainly be different than it has been in the past, but I really can't wait to get everything back to normal. Um, I can't wait to get everybody back in the building, but this video is really for all of the students and the parents of students that are not coming back to school this year. They're going to be in our Wilson Cyber Program is what we're kind of calling it at the high school. Um, and we'd like to welcome you to our Wilson Cyber Program. The good news is I think we have an excellent online cyber option for all of the students that are electing for that option this year. Uh, some of the things I think it, that make it an excellent option for this year is I always say that Wilson has the absolute best teachers around. We have a fabulous group of hardworking, dedicated teachers and that same group of teachers that is going to be teaching courses here during the day, that is always taught courses here during the day, will be teaching our cyber students in their program. So you're going to have access to those same fabulous teachers that you've had access to um, throughout your high school career to this point. Our cyber program also has a lot of options. Every single course that we offer during the day that we've always offered in the past is also offered to students to take online. So we have a lot of different options for everybody. Um, you also have an opportunity in our cyber program to see all of your teachers live. As I talk a little bit about the program later on, um, you'll see that every single week you're going to have an opportunity to sign in and meet live with your teachers, um, answer questions, and be involved in collaborative work with other students in the class and with the teachers. And if our country or the area gets back to normal anytime and you decide that it is best and you want to return to school, the program that we have set up will make for a very easy transition back to school. Because as you see when I look at a schedule later on, um, you're going to see that every course that you have is actually aligned with a course that's going on here. So if you decide you want to come back to school at any point, you could just give us a call and we could take a look and transfer your schedule back over to an in-person schedule. So let me tell you a little bit about the program and how it's going to work. And I think the first thing that I need to start off with um, before I tell you about a program is by defining two words that actually come up quite a bit as we talk about our program, and that is synchronous and asynchronous instruction. Synchronous instruction simply means that you are going on and you're working on your class at the same time that the teacher is online. So the teacher is online and you're probably doing something in the way of Zoom and you're having a Zoom meeting with the teacher and you're working live with the teacher at the same time. Asynchronous instruction is just the opposite of that. All of the assignments are posted. They're there for you to do at your convenience whenever is best for you. You could wake up first thing in the morning, uh, view all of your lessons, and get all of your work done early, or you could kind of put it off until later in the evening and do your work in the evening. Your cyber program that we put together is a little bit of each. There is some synchronous instruction and there is some asynchronous instruction, and as we go through it, um, you'll have an opportunity to see when you have asynchronous and when you have synchronous instruction in your schedule. You are going to receive a schedule showing an eight-period school day, exactly like you have always had in the past. I'm going to talk you through what your schedule in a cyber program is going to look like. So in the schedule that you see right there, I mean, one thing that looks a little bit different is you see in period one, it says open period placeholder. And then again, in period six, it says open period placeholder. Really what that is, is if you were here taking your classes, they would just be periods that you have a study hall. Now, obviously, I'm not assigning you to a study hall sitting in your home because your study hall is anytime you... Um, have extra time and you want to get your work done. That is your study hall at home. But if you transition back to the school and you're here in person, this particular student would have a study hall period one and they would have another study hall period six. You can see in this schedule there's still an eight period day. If you transition back to school, this particular person would have honors, civics, and government period two in their schedule. In their cyber schedule it just says cyber, honors, civics, and government. Period three is Cyber, Honors, Algebra 2. Each of those courses, again, are matched up with a course that's actually going on in the school day. So again, for example, period three during the school day, Mr. Brown will be teaching Honors Algebra 2 to an in-person class. That afternoon, he is going to be teaching Honors Algebra 2 to our cyber students, posting materials on our asynchronous day uh, for you to do. Sometimes he's going to post actual lessons that he taught in class and you could be working on the assignments, uh, same assignments that the students are working on that are taking the course during the school day. That is what a typical schedule is going to look like in a cyber program. The way instruction that is going to be working for all students is you will receive instruction and assignments 
four periods per day. So even though your schedule has eight periods in the day, you are only going to be working on classes in four periods a day. We're doing it in, in an even odd format. In other words, one day you're going to be doing periods one, three, five, and seven, and the following day you would do periods two, four, six, and eight. So you can see in this schedule here, you're on an odd day, your first period just says open period placeholder. So you don't have any work to do for your first period class on an odd day. Your next class on an odd day would be the period three class, which is honors algebra two. There would be an assignment for that class and a lesson for that class. Your next class would be period five, which is your cyber Spanish two class. Again, you would work on the assignment and the lesson for that class. And your last class would be your period seven, your honors English 10 class. They would be the only four classes that you need to focus on for that day. Again, in the morning, teachers are teaching those four classes live, and then in the afternoon, they're posting those lessons for you to do. In a typical week schedule, students that are in our Wilson Cyber Program are going to have asynchronous instruction Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday. Again, in this schedule here, in this example, asynchronous instruction odd on Monday, even classes on Tuesday, odd classes on Thursday, even classes on Friday. Wednesday actually provides a great opportunity for all of our cyber students to have synchronous instruction live with their teachers following the same schedule that all of the students that are in school are following for that day. The synchronous schedule on Wednesday is teachers are going to run through all eight periods on Tuesday, spending a half an hour in each class live with the students. I strongly encourage all of the students in our cyber program to take advantage of that every Wednesday and sign in live to all eight periods so that you have an opportunity to see your teacher, to work directly with your teacher, and actually even have an opportunity to be working collaboratively with all of the other students that are actually taking the class here in person because everybody is going to be mixed together on that synchronous Wednesday day. If we only ever have four days in a school day, we are going to eliminate that synchronous day, and then all of our classes would run odd classes one day, even the next day, odd one day, even the next day, and again, eliminating that synchronous day in a four-day week. If a three-day week comes up, which doesn't happen until much later in the school year in November, we're going to come up with a schedule for that day, but as of right now, uh, four days and five-day weeks will get us all the way through the first marking period. Another question that comes up is, how will you know what course to work on and how are we going to do attendance? How do you know if it's an even or an odd day? And how are you going to do attendance? Well, we created a Google Classroom homeroom, in effect, for all of our cyber students. So every day, you are going to sign into your Google Classroom homeroom. In that homeroom, there's going to be a little link for you to click on that's going to say attendance. And you're going to click on your attendance link. You're going to um, enter your name and your grade. And then your attendance is recorded for the day. Also, in that Google Classroom, there's going to be any kind of announcements that you need to get for the day. And there's also going to be a list of courses that are running. So in other words, as soon as you sign in, all of your announcements are going to be there and it's going to say today is an odd day or today is an even day. That's just telling you that in your schedule, you are working on your odd classes for that day on an odd day. Um, when you go to check your attendance, once you record your attendance for the day, you are marked present for the day. But that doesn't mean you don't have to do anything. You have four classes that you need to work on for the day. If you don't sign into your four classes and do your work from those four days, your teachers are going to see that you recorded yourself as being present, but you didn't do any of the work. They are going to call that as a cut of class, just like we would have done if you were a student coming to school and you came into school in the morning and then you cut a class. Okay, the teachers will notify Mr. Beitler and then you will be getting a call from Mr. Beitler saying that you signed in and you are recorded as present for the day but did not sign into your classes and do your work. So both of those things actually go together for you to be marked present for the day. You need to sign in through the attendance portal and you need to sign in every class and actually do all of your assignments. When all of that is done, then your attendance is officially present for the day. Another course that comes up is how will you know how to access all of your courses? Well, because everything is so different this year and this program is completely new, the first four days of school are really going to be an orientation day for everyone, our in-person students as well as you, our cyber students. Each day, you're going to meet with two of your classes live, and you're going to have to sign in on Monday, for example. Monday, August 34th, 31st is an orientation for your period one and your period two class. 
from 1.30 to 2, you're going to sign into your period one class. Your teacher will be there live and they will explain everything you need to know about your period one class, whatever it is. Period two class is going to be Monday from 2 to 2.30. Again, you're going to sign in live, meet your teacher, hear all of the expectations, and then you'll know what's going to go on with your period two class. That same thing is going to happen Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Tuesday we're running period three and four, Wednesday five and six, and Thursday seven and eight. On those, that first week of school, you're not going to have additional assignments, for example, that you're doing in each class as far as new content or anything like that. That is strictly an orientation week. It's where you're going to hear about how that course runs, how your grades are going to be established in there, what kind of projects you're going to be doing, and what the expectations are for those teachers. It is very important you sign in to those classes during that week and find out everything you need to know about the class. That week, teachers will send you in your school email account a link to the Zoom meeting for you to sign into each one of those classes. So make sure you check your school email accounts to get those links so that you can sign into those classes during that first orientation week. And the last question I think everyone probably has at this point is how will you get your Chromebooks and your schedule? Well, first of all, your schedule is already done. It's in Skyward. If you have access to Skyward, you can sign in and you can see your schedule at this point. It's in there. If you don't have access to Skyward or um, just don't know how to get into Skyward at this point yet, we will also print out your schedule and we have it available in the office for you to pick up. And then Tuesday through Friday of this week, Tuesday through Friday, you could stop by the high school main office anytime and you could pick up a copy of your schedule and you can also at that time pick up your Chromebook that you have for the whole year that is being signed out to you for all of your courses. So again, it is very important I think that you stop in Tuesday through Friday of this week so you can get your, your Chromebook and you can get your schedule. And then next week, make sure again you're signed in for orientation for all of your classes so that you can see, hear exactly what all of the expectations are and what you're going to be doing in all of your classes. And throughout the year, we are here all year long to answer your questions to um, provide help and assistance. We strongly encourage parents to stay involved and if you have any questions throughout the year, um, feel free to give us a call or email us at any time. Um, and again, if things get to the point where you wanna come back to school and you wanna come back to the actual building, it should be an easy transition for you. Again, give us a call and we will make it happen. Uh, we want your school year to be great whether you're in person or whether you're doing our cyber program. Uh, I wish you the very best and we will be seeing you throughout the year. Thank you.